Welcome to the car guys and welcome to a very special day because we've got a piece of Italian exotica for you. Yes we have. Today ladies and gentlemen we are driving one of the most iconic Italian cars ever produced. Oh. It's a rear wheel drive monster and I cannot tell you how excited I am to be here. Today the Fiat 500. Da -da 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 La Fiat 500. Yes, 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 it's the Fiat 500. Launched in 1957, it ran until 1975. It was cheap, practical, handled well, and captured the imagination of a new, young, upwardly mobile generation. It's one of the most iconic cars ever made, but what's it like to drive today? So, Jason, here we are. We have this incredible white and red Fiat 500. Yeah. Why, why? Are we driving this today? We are driving this because I love the Fiat 500. My girlfriend loves the Fiat 500. She needed a birthday present. I needed an excuse to buy a car. Fiat 500. The first thing you've got to be able to say about this car is, is it's tiny. It is a tiny vehicle. Let's get an idea of how tiny it is. I'm going to lay next to this car and you can see exactly, because I'm not, I'm not a particularly tall man, am I? Let's be honest. Taller than me. So if I get on the floor, I... Look, look, it's not very long is it? Before we get started, quick wristwatch check. This week I have on my Rolex GMT Master in white gold. Beautiful watch. And I'm wearing uh, Oma Legato Golf. So Jason, this is, well I should say this is your girlfriend's new special car, but it's the new family acquisition for you. Yeah. So take us through, take us around this car highlight all the bits that you love about it. As everybody knows, they are an iconic little shape. It's only nine feet from end to end. Let's go around, let's start at the back because that's the important bit. That's where all the magic happens with that heart beating. Should we have a look? Let's have a look, shall we? Look. Woo! So this is a, a two cylinder air cooled monster. Lovely vents on the back of the car. Iconic little number plate light down here. So lovely chromed bumpers i mean what is not to love about this car look at the shape little bulbous back bit on it it just says italy doesn't it it just says cornetto you want to be cruising around turin off to meet your girlfriend on her lambretta i don't know something like that white wall tires who doesn't love white wall tires for goodness sake and they're on the sweetest 12 inch wheels look at that just perfectly suit the car and contribute to its fun loving go anywhere character. Look at the size of that. I mean, you're gonna get at least a toothbrush in there, maybe, although it probably will be covered in fuel when you have to fill it up. Fuel tank in the front, bladder for your uh, screen wash, spare wheel, and a jack. And that's really it. Little tiny headlights, absolutely. It's got a pretty little face, big old Fiat badge on the front. I mean, I can't, I cannot tell you how wonderful this car is. It is just an absolute joy to own. It's a joy to look at. Every time you come out of your front door, you look at this little thing and a smile appears on your face and you can't help yourself but love it. Other little details here. You got this little window that opens right here. I'm told that's for people who smoke a lot. That's so the perfect smoking window. And also just check out this tiny little mirror here. So there's your wing mirror, just mounted up on the A-pillar. How cool is that? Right, so in here, it's fairly basic, but that's a good thing. We've got, the dashboard is actually part of the car. We've got these beautiful red and white seats. The seats do actually go forward, so you can get people in the back. As I said, this was used as a wedding car and the brides would sit in the back, but they would take the front seats out. The, the gentleman owned it previously has kindly fitted a 12 volt power supply to charge your phone, otherwise there wouldn't be one. Gear stick, handbrake, pedals, I mean, there's literally nothing else. One of the other great things about these old Fiat's is they all come with this opening sunroof. And it is a, obviously a very sophisticated mechanism, uh, as you can see. It does help if you're traveling along at the time because it, the wind helps you 
to push it back. There you go. Open air, bimbling along, middle of the summer. Hey! Uh, what's math? What's math? Can't get in. Don't worry, it's got central locking. I can reach all the doors from my driver's seat. Yeah, classic, classic 70s Italian central locking. <laughs> you can reach every part of the car, like the back window. Look, touch the back window. Oh my God, look, even I can. <laughs> we can touch every single corner of this car from the seat. The thing is, you know how you know, left-hand drive, right-hand drive abroad, continental, you're trying to get through the tolls. Yeah. Right, this, you don't have to worry because <laughs> you can literally <laughs> reach, reach both. everything. You can reach both from sides. sides. This and is if amazing. it's a bit high, you know, oh, a bit of the old action. Hey, how about Look at that? that. Really no no awesome. electric motors that might go wrong here. Uh, no, oh, no, no. You've got a latch. There's, there's a... Can I just say? Yeah. I've only been in this car for about 20 seconds yeah. and I already love it. Of course you do! What isn't there to love about it? Okay, starting procedure, are you ready? Yes. What do we have to do? Well, so we have to turn the ignition on. Okay. So ignition's on the dashboard. With an actual key. With, a, with an actual key that looks like a door key. From, I mean, you can see the security getting a bit warm in here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very yeah. warm. There's no air conditioning. <laughs> Your window's open and I'm still boiling. I know, look at that. Um, can you see how well, how the security on that yeah, key I mean, is? I mean, it's like, what, one one barrel? Is that one barrel? <laughs> if that, I mean, that, that doesn't even look like a barrel. That just looks like you've nicked it against a door frame. <laughs> I mean, you could basically start this car with a screwdriver. Yeah, you, yeah, you, uh, you actually can. Anyway, so we put the key in, yep. we turn it across, we get some red lights. And then you're going, well, how do I, what's, where's the start button? Ha ha! We have two levers on the floor. Lovely. One is choke, one is starter. Oh. Right now, there's an interesting thing here, and there's we... no indication which one they are. There's no, there's no, no sign. There's Why no you want... symbol. Where's the fun in that? So, if we don't have the ignition on, the starter will still engage. Right. But because I did this the other day, I got in it. I was like, no, 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 no. Why is it starting? Why is it starting? And then realised I didn't turn the ignition on. Still nothing. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's just so minimalist in here. So clean and so stylish. It's one of the designs that has transcended all time, hasn't it? Yeah. Along with a 911 and a couple of other things. 2CV. 2CV. Off we go. Oh, brother of Figaro, brother of Figaro, brother of a daughter, brother of a daughter, brother of a Brilliant. So what engine is this? So this is, this is Because it doesn't sound like it's got many cylinders. It's only got two. You two. Can, they've only fit two in, two in the back. Amazing. Uh, it's a 500cc, uh, so smaller than a lot of motorbike engines. Hence Fiat 500. Hence Fiat 500. Let's see if you can have a guess about the enormity of the brake horsepower in this car. Right, so you know, 500cc, half a litre. I'm going to say, what year is this? 1971. This is a 71 car, but Thank really you. hadn't changed since they, since 57. Okay. Much. I'm going to say 45 brake horsepower. Well, this is running a whole 18. 18. 18, 18 brake horsepower. Oh no, it's fantastic. What have we just done to the power to weight by getting <laughs> in here together? So the car weighs just under 500 kilos. Okay, so light, good. Very light. And I weigh what, another, I don't know, 100? 80, 80, <laughs> 85, <laughs> I probably weigh 75, okay. maybe 80. I think we'll probably be generous to ourselves. <laughs> so we've increased the weight of the car by 50%. Yes, we have. Okay. 27 Newton meters of torque, 20 pound foot of torque. 20 pound foot. <laughs> That's as much, ladies and gentlemen, as this. <laughs> that's, that is the same as 20, 20 uh, pound feet. They actually upgraded the engine because in 1957 the engine only ran 16 brake horsepower um, and they considered it wasn't quite enough. The top speed of this car is 59 miles an hour. Ah, so not actually 60. No. Did they do a 0 to 59? 30 yeah. seconds apparently. 30 seconds. Well, that's not bad actually. I think it's all right for the time. It's quite long geared. It's not about horsepower, is it? No. I mean, it is about traversing the countryside in a very genteel way. 
whilst smiling and ideally having a lady with a big straw bonnet sat next to you. Oh, but like, yes. So it's all right, isn't it? I mean, we're probably on. We're doing 40 miles an hour. Oh, just. Right. Is that right? Is that reading right? Well, I don't, I don't know for certain if that's 100% correct. It doesn't feel like 40. And this is a UK car. Right. Registered in 1971, 1st of July, so it's exactly 49 years old today. Today is, it? is its birthday. Is it really? It's 49. That's fair, that is, that's fair. It's not in its original colour, it should be cream, but this is a, uh, it's come from a guy that ran a wedding car business. Can you right. imagine? And uh, so, it's presumably for very small very brides. Small brides. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close oh, to being nice. perfect. It's really nice, it's isn't it? It's really, really nice. Yeah. And it's just an absolute joy. And I, I purchased it on the quiet, and I gave it to my girlfriend for her 40th birthday. Oh, well, that's very nice of you, isn't I, it? I, I'm like the type of person. What a very nice man. Very nice man. Very nice, man. Very nice man. King Christ! <laughs> that was very close, wasn't it? Glass delivery driving bastard. So interestingly, in this car, because it is so incredibly tiny, it only measures nine feet from wow. front to back. When you're driving down the road and there's a big something coming towards you, you don't really have to worry because you could fit two alongside each other in this lane. Well, I did notice that actually following you earlier, yeah. and that massive sort of Stobart lorry yeah. came towards us, and you just nipped through with plenty of room <laughs> to spare, and then I was inching through on the grass. Yeah. How does it handle? Ah. Well, you'll find this out when you drive it. Um, I'm going to say boat-like. Really? Yeah. Well, that would tie in quite well with Fiat's well-known partnership with the Riva on the Aqua Arme, you see? If, you, if you're used to driving a Riva, you, you won't find the handling of this in any way, shape or form completely and utterly frightening. Can I, hang on, can I just press the horn a minute? Yes, of course you is can. Is this yeah, the horn? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, horn? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that's amazing! We're in Rome, we're in Turin, you're there, you're right there, aren't you? That is, that is phenomenal. Oh my god. Hey, pinky pinky, ultimo taxation bastardo. You cannot fail to be happy in this car. No. You know I've got that Constantine Chaikin clown watch. Yes. It's like the clown watch of cars. It's just, it's just happy and bright and unconventional but you just love it after buying this yeah i'm convinced that i needed a bath really was i'm something lower wider a bit more horsepower a little bit more you know an extra 20 horsepower Woo -hoo -hoo! Woo -hoo -hoo! the heady <laughs> matron matron oh stop <laughs> i love this car so much it is such a joy you're right you get in it and you smile you bimble down the road people look at you they wave everybody that you meet has got a story who's owned one before. You know, it's just a fantastic little thing. Everybody loves it. So if it's only got a 500cc two-stroke engine, then I would imagine fuel economy is quite good. Yeah, 50 miles to the gallon. <laughs> However, I got to the petrol garage, I thought that's fine, I'll fill it up with fuel, turned on the hose, the thing basically splashed fuel at me because modern fuel hoses designed for tanks that can take a high pressure yeah. thing. Whereas this is probably like a McDonald's drinking straw <laughs> down into a colostomy bag. Yeah, yeah, I mean, essentially that's, that's what you've got. So I looked inside the tank and yeah, we were brimmed. Okay. 17 of your earth pounds. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 17 quid. Some roof action. Whoa! Plus, so when you do it on the move, you get the additional help from the wind. Yeah. And we're in a convertible. Oh, go on. Oh, that's handled. very good. Oh, it's, I love it being so simple. So when I picked this car up, yeah. when we came to get it off the trailer, we had to put blocks of wood either side because the trailer is designed for a normal width car. Yeah. And this obviously isn't. So it ne so it didn't actually come off the trailer without additional blocks of wood. <laughs> oh, big lorry. Big oh, lorry. Don't, don't care. Yeah makes no difference. Take as much space as you like, yeah. mate. We don't give a shit. Well, I think we need to stop so you can have a drive. What do you think? I think it's a are very you, good Are you idea. up for a drive? I think we should try and get a 0-60 time out of this. Oh. Are you ready? Yeah. Are we ready? This is an official 0-60 time for the Fiat 500. Right. Go. Oh, she's off. Here we go. Still 
going 40, 45, 50, I feel like Howard Hughes, 50, we are nailing this. 52, Honestly. 55, 55, 58, 59, come on quick, I've got a break, 60, oh, 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 oh. 35.84 seconds, oh she's still got it, still got she's it still where it counts, This is it folks, this is the first time I've ever, 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 ever been in a Fiat 500. How many gears it got? Four. Because it felt like five when I was playing with it. Now obviously, there's no power steering. No, no, I've worked that out. It's a little bit like my, uh, my Land Rover. Yes. Yeah, it's a bit like that. But when you drive the Land Rover, which is not that far away now folks, it's very similar, except imagine this, but you're sitting another six feet up in the air. <laughs> That's what it's like. It's not going to set your hair on fire, obviously, but it drives all right, isn't it? It's lovely. I mean, it is. It's just very simple, open, great visibility. I'm sort of popping out of the car. Has it got carbon ceramics, this one? Um, no, no. It wasn't specified, though. It wasn't. It was not. No. I think it's... <laughs> I think it's better with the roof off. Yeah. It's nice and ventilated. Yeah, it's, it does get warm in here quick. So when you kind of ease it into bends and it sort of, you get a bit of a wash, don't you? Like you a do. speedboat. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Nice. It's got quite a lot of, I think they call it in the trade, your. Your. <laughs> oh, look at that. So these are brand new tyres. They are so brand, they are brand spanking new tyres. Oh my good lord, look at the lean of it. Yeah. Oh, old, old school lean. It's got that 2CB door handles on the floor lean. Let's do this one in seconds. Here we go. Ready for some lean. Oh, 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 oh. A bit of understeer. A bit of scrubbing on the front tyres there. Holy mother of God. That's a big lorry. It's a really big lorry. But we don't care. Yeah, well, it's more the fact he might lean over and drop his load onto us. <laughs> then we would be crushed instantly. And yeah, because I'm, I'm thinking this doesn't yeah. offer much crash protection. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought so. Accordingly, oh. back the other way. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at the way it's hopping. In theory, I was just thinking, so if the rear wheels are canted inwards mm. and towed in, yeah. does that mean if you take a corner very vigorously, they will fold under the car? Uh, there, I think it has that potential, yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, so let's let's avoid that. So maybe not go round these corners quite so fast. Yeah, maybe yeah, maybe let's, yeah, let's avoid avoid that. So another fun fact for you. Yep. There are less than a thousand of these registered on the road. Are there really? And uh, how many were made though? Well, okay. So between 1957 and 1974, they made just under four million. Four million. Four. Four million. Of these, I think in the year this was produced, I think they they topped out at about six hundred thousand or something ridiculous. Wow, that's, it, that's almost as many GT3s as Porsches made last, last year. Oh, look at things we like about this car. <laughs> we love the way it looks. Yep. We love its simplicity. Definitely. We love the way that that 1950s old school driving experience. Yeah. We love the horn. <laughs> we love the horn. We love the enormous steering wheel. We love the gearbox actually as well. It's a really sweet gearbox. I love the way that it starts using that little lever to, to engage the starter motor. And the size, the sheer size in modern day traffic. And I guess also we love the way it makes everyone else who sees it feel. Yeah. What do we not like? Uh, the clutch is a little bit of a pain. Yeah, high clutch. Boot space is, is pretty small. Uh, yeah, luggage room isn't great. I suppose it's a bit noisy as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is a bit noisy. A bit noisy. It's got no stereo. It's quite hot. But overall, I mean, it's fantastic. It's it? fantastic. It is absolutely fantastic. We thought out of interest we would just see exactly what the Fiat 500 looks like next to the Maybach. Um, I had a bet with Jason. I thought you could fit three of them in there. He thought two. 
and uh, here we go. So it's official ladies and gentlemen, the Fiat 500 reaches up to the back doors of the Maybach. <laughs> you can therefore fit two Fiat 500s in the silhouette of a Mercedes Maybach. You heard it here first. Thanks for watching this episode on the Fiat 500. His Fiat 500. We really hope you've enjoyed this episode. We have had the best day driving around in this little beauty. Please subscribe to the channel. Please leave comments. Don't forget to catch us on Instagram and our website and buy that merch. There'll be another Car Guys episode along next week.